Hey, all my beginners in sobriety. Um, I have missed doing this. I can definitely say, like, I missed doing this all weekend. Um, I actually had a, a pretty busy weekend. I had a bunch of stuff that I had to do this weekend, and so, like, I didn't really have much downtime to do a lot of things. Um, I had to take a class on Saturday. It was a nine-hour class. You know, hour for lunch was an eight-hour class, but um, it was all day. It took my entire day. Saturday and then Sunday was just kind of like catch up day you know so I was so busy this weekend but you know it was funny because the class that I had to take on Saturday um, was right next to a like pharmacy you know that we have and I know this pharmacy well I go to it and it's you know a franchise pharmacy so they're all over the place and um I had to go to this class and my husband and I uh, to try and help out with, you know, like the impulse buying and stuff like that. You know, stopping, you know, when no one's around or buying it without, you know, buying alcohol without anyone's permission, you know, or just at all, you know, rather, rather than with or without permission. The you know, answer is always going to be no, but so he's been holding on to my debit cards and my driver's license and stuff like that because him and I are carpooling. We drive everywhere, but he's been holding on to them for me and it's completely voluntary like I said I want you to hold these because there's really no reason for us to go anywhere without each other you know like if we go grocery shopping we're together if we go to this place we're together so there's no reason for um me to be carrying these because I don't really have anything to, to buy or purchase or anything so anyhow so on Saturday I had to take this course and of course I had to bring my driver's license to show my identity and uh, during the course, uh, we had to stop for lunch, and so uh, he gave me my debit card, and so that way I could go get lunch um, without having to, like, bring anything. And um, it was right next door, like I said, to this pharmacy that I know all too well. Um, and it's just funny how, like, you know, I'm only, you know, a couple days away from two months. My addictive brain was like, hey, you know this place. Like, you've been there before. You know, you know what they sell. You know what... What they have and and it's just funny how it automatically starts to creep back in like any time that I have just a little bit of independence my brain's like trying to get me to get in trouble like it's it's really trying to get me to go back to my old ways and you know, like I had to kind of just you know shush it and tell it like be quiet go somewhere else and whatever whatnot and I haven't really thought about drinking um, haven't like craved it at all really you know I know that I'm at a point where I can't do it anymore so I'm like why even bother it's not even part of my life um, like we've done things we've gone out to eat we've hung out with friends we've hung out at home you know all that stuff and it never really was just kind of like oh I need it like I'm jonesing for it like I, you know I need to have a drink and so this was like the first time that I had like a little bit of independence and my brain was automatically like going back to that thinking back at that and then I was just you know starting to think about it and I was just like geez Louise like what is going to happen when I actually do get my car again or I actually go and you know start driving you know my kids to daycare or driving myself to work and my brain's gonna start thinking at that at like 6 a.m you know so I don't know I was like I've been complaining this whole time that I miss my independence, I miss my car, whatever, whatnot, but maybe I'm just not quite ready. Um, maybe I do need some time to kind of like get all that out of my system or, or quiet the addictive side of my brain. So that way it'll stop like trying to creep in and say like, why don't you just run over here and go grab the pot, you know, four pack of wine. You could drink it, you can stick it in your purse, you can hide it, you've done it before. You all, you know all the spots where you can hide it so no one can see it, and it was just, it's not exciting. It was, it was not, it, it was completely unwelcome. Um, it was stuck in my brain the whole time I'm trying to take this class, and it just was so disruptive. I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't think of, you know, about what I was doing. Like, I was having a hard time, like, pulling myself back in and paying attention to what's going on within the class, because, you know, I paid for this. I want to learn something from it, so... It just it made me more mad than anything else because I'm like, come on, stop. Like, I want to pay attention, but stop creeping in my head. Like, get out of my head. I don't need this in there right now. Like, I don't need 
to think about this right now or to have this, like I said, disrupt my brain space. Cause I'm, like I said, I paid for this class. I want to be in this class. I want to do it. But yet the addictive side of my brain's fighting its way in there. So I did, um, abstain. I did not go get any alcohol. I did not go get any wine. Didn't tell my husband about it because then like any little ounce of independence I would have, he'd be like, well, I need to be with you or you need to take someone that you trust or, you know, like I, I understand that and I agree with that, but I don't need that every single time. Like, I feel like I'm just being like defiant in some way, but I don't need someone to constantly hold my hand all the time. Like I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to eventually get to the point where I am going to have to go do some of these things and I don't need someone holding my hand all the time. So it's just a mental debacle <laughs> that I'm having in my head. But um, I missed, I missed talking to my phone this weekend. You know, I missed it because like I said, I was just like busy all weekend. Definitely didn't feel like I got a weekend, but um, I'm back at it now. I hope everybody else got to have a good weekend. Um, it's been great. It's been, you know, it's been busy. Um, in five days? I think this Friday. Um, I hit two months, 60 days. So that'll be exciting. Um, I'll probably pick up my chip on Thursday because I have something to do on Friday and I'm not going to be able to make a meeting. So I'll probably pick it up on Thursday, but it'll be good. So, but yeah. It was a good weekend. I got some things done around the house, was productive, getting back on track, not um, procrastinating, putting things off, not dealing with hangovers, not dealing with consequences of the stuff that I did throughout the week, you know, um, just plain old, you know, hanging with the family, getting stuff done. So I hope everybody else had a good weekend. Um, if you are watching, please like and subscribe. Um, I am a pretty small channel. Just, just me talking on my phone. Um, so if you enjoy anything that you see or if you know somebody else that could watch this and get something out of it, please let them know. You know, um, I'm putting myself out there to the world because I want other people to know that you're not alone. You're not the only person that has to deal with this. So, you know, please let other people know that um, we're all human. You know, nobody's perfect. We all have our own issues. And if you do like it, you know, please tell somebody else. Please like and subscribe. And, um, I hope everybody else has a great day.